let's bow in reverence to the memories of late P. N. Panikkar, the father of the library movement in Kerala. We Indians observe the National Reading Day on June 19th. Pudhuvayil Narayana Panikkar is famously known as the father of library movement and he passed away on June 19th, 1995. As we all know the government of Kerala has been observing the 19th of June every year as a day for reading for the past 25 years to encourage the habit of reading among the youth his famous slogan read and grow had such an impact that various soul Kerala became nationally one of the most literate state with a very high level of social awareness hello everyone my name is renuka guru I am an author and an illustrator. I am very happy to meet you through this video. Reading is very important. Everyone must have told you that, isn't it? And to a certain extent, all of you must also understand that it is really important. But what does it give you? Obviously, your language will improve, vocabulary will improve. your sentence structures will improve secondly it may give you variety of knowledge all kinds of books will give you all kinds of knowledge the more books you read the wiser you become then those who read it for pleasure you have a very good time pass you never feel lonely because your friends are your books so you have everything with you in fact good readers are never lonely but to me it's more than all this when you read when you read books you kind of live 100 more times every time you read a book you get to understand the experiences of that character the author is trying to convey so you lead you live through so many characters lives especially in novels i'm talking about may it be a detective novel or may it be a drama or a funny story whatever it may be but every time you live through a character in a book you learn so much about the particular character about the particular life they have led and the kind of wisdom you would gain from that is immense now for example when you read books on politics you learn a lot of things about politics i'm talking about stories you may think that story books are you know some people may say it's a waste of time why do you read story books but the kind of knowledge you get from the story books is very real so when you read stories about like historic stories you know it's more interesting than your history books to give you an example when i was young as a school kid like you all i read this wonderful book about a little girl called anne frank she was a jew and she was killed in the, in the concentration camps in germany so even before i reached 10th standard 9th standard and learned about the world wars i had so much information about how people were suffering during these world wars by reading that book so when at the end of the day when we came to study world war in our history textbooks it was very interesting to me it was not just dates and happenings it was about lives of people and i achieved this by reading stories stories about people i got to learn a lot about stock market i have no information about stock market otherwise because i'm not involved in stocks you see but i learned so much about stock market from reading books written by jeffrey archer because he writes stories based on all that and there's another author who writes about genetic genetic you know uh, mutations and stuff like that so every time you learn you read a story book 
a novel or a poetry or a drama you get immense knowledge and that too it is fed the knowledge is not fed like that you get it in school like in textbooks and facts but it comes through these stories and you are able to retain it so i would say i would encourage all of you to get into this wonderful journey of reading just anything you like just read anything that interests you thriller or comedy or whatever that interests you but read you'll never feel lonely you'll never be in need of people to time sp- to spend your time with you will be more than happy to be by yourself because you can get into so many different worlds and enrich your lives with their worlds that you find in the books thank you very much i'm subhashini murli a former assistant professor now a blogger behind every successful student there's a book from mahatma gandhi to elon musk everyone is inspired by books being an avid reader myself i would like to share a few secrets that books have taught me first you are not alone someone somewhere in this world has experienced the same joy and sorrow that you are going through right now books are your best companions for all seasons second to be a good leader you have to be a great reader do you know about 88% of rich people devote 30 minutes each day for reading what do they read 55% of them read self improvement books third To understand and speak a language, you need to know minimum 700 to 1000 words. Books provide that vocabulary to converse fluently. Finally, books impart immense knowledge and confidence to face the world and conquer it. Now, if you don't like holding a book, e-read from apps like Kindle, Scribe, Booklet, or Storytel. Some book suggestions for you. Works of Charles Lamb Charlie and the Chocolate Factory by Roald Dahl and Diary of a Young Girl by Anne Frank and Indian writers R K Narayan's famous Swami and Friends Wings of Fire by Dr A P J Abdul Kalam Wise and Otherwise by Sudha Murthy Life is What You Make It by Preeti Shinoy and Two States by Chetan Bhagat are awesome to read as Francis Bacon said some books are to be tasted others are to be swallowed and some few to be chewed and digested Make reading a habit. Happy reading and bye. Hello everyone. My name is Anina. Hi, I'm Joshua. I hope you all are staying safe and healthy and having an incredible reading week. We are here today to tell you something really important about reading. Yes, mom. I'm sure you've heard right now about the importance of reading. But in my life, I realized how important it was to read different genres of books. Yeah, when Joshua was a small kid, he only liked to read non-fiction books. I felt like reading fiction was a waste of time and it didn't help acquire any real knowledge. But later I realized that reading fiction helps your vocabulary skills and is very important. Yes. So, you know, we all know the fact that English is a global language. You all will grow up and one day you will have to face an interview for your career or you will be traveling outside the country or you might have to fill a document where your English skill is going to help you. So we highly encourage you to read different kinds of book which is going to help you develop this very essential life skill and it will be for your bright future. So I wish you all a great day and happy reading. Happy reading. Bye. Bye. Today I am standing before you to express my views about importance of reading. Reading is a habit that can make us all a better person. Reading gives us knowledge and inspiration. It makes us smart. Reading exposes our mind to a great treasure of ideas and thoughts. Reading improves our concentration power. Good books are like a great investment. With so many benefits, reading is certainly a good habit. Once we develop this habit, we can never get bored. It is a good way of personal growth and development. With this, I conclude my words. Thank you. In good books means you are making fair use of time. It is a perfect way to stay occupied positively and at the same time learn something. We are the members of English Club. Now present to you some golden words and thoughts of eminent personalities. Here are they. 
I believe something very magical can happen when you read a good book. This is a famous quote of J.K. Rowling. Let me ponder the words of Maya Angelou. Any book that helps a child to form a habit of reading, to make reading one of his deep and continuing needs, is good for him. Advertise and rightly said that the only thing you absolutely have to know is the location of the library. According to Bender W. Tashment, books are the carriers of civilization. They are companions, teachers, magicians, bangers of the treasures of the mind. Books are humanity and print. A reader lives a thousand lives before he dies. The man who never reads lives only one. George R. R. Martin. Lloyd Alexander rightfully said, Keep reading is the one of the most marvelous adventure that anyone can have. According to Ernest Hemingway, there is no friend as a loyal as a book. Hi, I am Alina. I am here before to introduce a children's novel, Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens. Oliver Twist is a novel written by Charles Dickens, one of the prolific writers of English literature. The story is about Oliver, an innocent child whose mother had died and was he sent to a workhouse. When he was 11, he was tried to be sold from the workhouse as an apprentice but he escaped from there. In his way to London, he met a boy called Artful Dodger and then end up with the Fagin, the leader of a gang of thieves who taught children how to steal. Luckily, Oliver also found people who took good care of him and helped him with some problems he had. In my opinion, this novel is very entertaining and it makes you re again and again. I like the fact that Fagin and Sykes tried to be changed Oliver but he continued a innocent good boy. My favorite character is Brownlow, who took care of Oliver and loved him very much. My favorite part of this book is when he met the artful dodger in the street and they take him with the stay with the faggot. I really enjoyed this book because there were lots of ups and downs and unexpected things happened. It was full of exciting and suspenses.